Hey everyone, I'm Jason from Totally Online Gaming Group, and I want to welcome you to our latest episode of Let's Talk About, a show where we look at awesome software, cool tech, great tools, and all sorts of stuff that you can use to enhance your tabletop gaming experience, no matter what tabletop gaming system you use. Today on Let's Talk About, we're going back to Critical Hit Gaming Supplies, and we're going to look at the EPAX X10 3D printer with the 4K monochrome display. So, let's dive right in. For our test printing, we used the Frost Giant, designed by Barayan Neferate. You can see the settings we used for it being entered into Cheetobox, here. These settings should give us a good first print that we can use as a baseline, from which we can make adjustments to fine tune the settings. Our goal is to get the best detail we can, as well as eliminating any issues. We actually experimented not just with adjusting the settings, but with several different resins, so that we could hopefully find the best settings and resin to use to achieve our goals. So here is where we went for our very first print on the X10. The actual file loaded up very quickly, and once that started, we decided to do a quick sound check using a decibel meter app on my phone. Maximum we saw was 68 decibels when I had my phone right next to the fan. Now let's take a look at the print comparisons. The first one is our print from the X1, so that we have something to compare our prints against. You can see the settings that were used for this print up at the top left. In our inspection of all these prints, we came to the conclusion that the EPAX hard gray resin produced the best details. The Soraya Tech Sculpt came in a very close second as it was almost identical in the quality of detail as the Epax Hard Grey. We had a tie for third between the Soraya Tech Fast Grey and Fast White resins, and in fourth came the Anycubic Grey. Last place in our opinion was the Elegoo ABS Light Grey resin, and this was mostly due to it having slightly more of a bloating effect compared to the others. All things considered, each of the test prints, no matter which resin was used, ended up looking very good with the settings that we used. And as long as you are happy with the level of detail your resin of choice is providing, there really isn't a need to consider switching to a different one. Here I wanted to show you some of the other stuff that Critical Hit Gaming Supplies has been adding to their inventory, like these amazing dice towers from Fates and Dice Towers. You can find the links for the Ice Giant and these dice towers in the comments section. Additionally, we just got some info about Build, which is a new resin that Soraya Tech is creating. We'll put some info about that in the comments section as well. We actually learned quite a lot from doing all these test prints and making adjustments to the settings. So before we end this video, we wanted to share with you all the notes we took as we went through the test printing process. Hopefully these notes will help you out on your prints using the EPAX X10 with the 4K monochrome screen. 
If there are any questions that we haven't addressed here in this video that you would like more information on, please feel free to ask them in the comments section of the video, and we'll do our best to respond with answers as soon as we can.